Hi, I'm Yvonne. Another week has passed following the Mucho program. I decided to go back to the basics of mod the first modules um, to pay attention to my breathing because I found out that this has really been helping my pelvic floor. If you remember, if you watched my, my first videos, I wanted to follow the program because I have, uh, I have been having a leaking pro uh, problem and I wanted to just uh, see if this would work and I think it is. So my main point this past week, because I was away with the family on holidays and I didn't really have the chance to do the intensive workouts that I'm in right now. So rather than um, getting all stuck in, oh, why can I do this or that, then I just went back to the foundations and I looked into the masterclass of breathing and holding tension. If you haven't seen it, I would really recommend you to go and look it up. It's under the master, master classes in the Mucho program and it's very, very informative and also quite fun. Uh, they talk about analogies, they have a, a little plastic uh, chicken that will uh, explain and, and talk about how we hold tension in our belly and then what happens when we release and when we engage when we need to. We don't have to have our muscles engaged all day long and 24 seven, that wouldn't be beneficial on the contrary, I think that's part of my problem that I was sort of engaging too much during the day. And now I'm trying to guide my breathing and I'm using this bowl which is, is very, very squishy and um, I like the texture, the sensory feedback that it gives. So when I do the inhaling is when the belly expands so like this ball would inflate and when I exhale, I press onto the ball, press onto my belly, belly button in and that way my core engages and then my pelvic, pelvic floor also lifts up and engages and when I inhale, I release all the tension in my belly, my whole body and I allow my belly to expand and then I continue and I exhale and compress belly button in and inhale expand and so I carry this ball around with me and that reminds me of my breathing and core engagement, the pelvic floor engagement and release, which is very important. So if we engage only uh, without releasing, then these problems like the one I've been having will, will come, unfortunately. So um, yeah, I encourage you to, to go back to the first modules if you can, or if you are completely fine with the breathing and you, you've got it, that's great. In my case, it's been five, six weeks of following the program and I can already see a big improvement with the leaking issue. I don't have to change as regularly. Uh, some, some of you moms would, would understand that. Um, it's not pleasant, it's not fun. So when I realize I can last a whole day without any leaking, then that makes me really, really proud of myself and my dedication to the program. As per the intensives, I will come back to them uh, very soon. I just need to find out, like, schedule some space in my in my daily schedule, but I will do it. Hopefully this video will give you some ideas on how to come back to your foundations of the breathing. I call it, um, when I do yoga, I call it balloon breathing because your belly and your torso inflates and expands as you inhale and deflates and contracts, engages as you exhale. And again, squeezing the ball for me as I engage it helps me a lot visually um, and with my senses. And then when I release, because I'm inhaling, I'm expanding, 
I will show you as well um, a little bit of my belly, how it goes uh, when with this expansion and contraction. So here I'm going to show you the same concept. So as I inhale, I expand my belly, I let it release tension. I don't really mind if it just sort of comes out. And then when I exhale, I bring my belly in, press onto my bow. I don't know if you can see, but then my belly button is going in and my belly is compressing a bit. So I inhale and I feel the expansion in my whole torso. My belly comes out and then I exhale, I press on the bow, press on my belly button in and I feel my pelvic floor coming up and engaging. So I do this a few times, like maybe a minute, sometimes I just stop from brushing around and if I have my bow in hand then it makes it a bit easier but if not then I just think of expansion as I inhale, releasing tension and engaging as I exhale. It's working. I hope you can try that too and I'll see you next time.